When you hear these bells jingling, you'll know that help is near. These volunteers and their dogs have mounted 28 searches in 2016, and not a day goes by when they aren't available. It was a missing child, um, and we were called out uh, Christmas Day afternoon, and we worked right through till um, just, I think it was about 2 o'clock on Boxing Day morning. Um, and the child was found, and the same Christmas holiday we were then called out on the New Year's Day. Um, again, that was another successful outcome. Yeah, we can be out in all weathers for, you know, three, four hours. Um, the dogs get tired, we get tired. Um, but yeah, the adrenaline, I guess, does keep you going. It certainly gets you out of bed when the phone goes. So. <laughs> yeah, Control Delta 1-2, just for your information, we are commencing search. Specialising in night searches, these dogs and their handlers are called out not just by Sussex, but police forces Find around the country, Good helping time. search for missing Run. and vulnerable people. And they go out training every week. You have to learn to read your dog extremely well uh, during your training. Um, and people often say, you know, a lot of the trainers say when you're, when you're training your dog, it's the dog can search, right? That's, 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 they do that naturally. The hardest part about um, training a search dog is actually training you as a, as a handler to be able to read the dog, be able to read the conditions and understand what you need to do to actually operate your dog effectively. A charity the team have been running since 2003, combining their simple love of walking dogs with a desire to help those at their greatest time of need. Andy Dickinson, ITV News, Horsham. Where? Where? Show me. Show me. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, clever girl. Good girl, Millie. Well done. Yeah, good girl, good girl. You can get up now, mate. Yeah, good girl.